or take a look at the other moment from last night when a black trans woman grabs the mic and Don Lemon stepped in. It got heated. Black trans women are being killed in this country and CNN, you have erased black trans women for the last time. May I have the mic? Blossom, let me tell okay. you something. The reason that we're here is to validate people like you. That is why we're giving, but that is why we're here. Not one black trans woman has taken the mic tonight. You're Not one black trans man has taken the, black, uh, the mic tonight. Yeah. Show me. Well, here's the deal. At first I thought about this and I thought Don Lemon handled himself beautifully and mm -hmm. as a person who is out in the community was really de-escalated the situation, I thought, quite nicely. Here's my problem. There are an enormous amount of black transgendered women getting murdered mm -hmm. in Texas. Yep. Let's just call it what it is. And to not have had one of the first couple of speakers be a black transgender seems a bit tone deaf to me. Well, I think it, what Does it's doing. No, I totally understand what you're saying, but it's a reflection of the situation. They don't yeah. We, in every demographic, you have a hierarchy. You have people who are at the top of the hierarchy and people who are at the bottom. The reality for a lot of people and the way that it's felt is that in the LGBTQ plus community, white gay men are at the top of the hierarchy and black trans women are at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when you have representation, people are like, oh, well, there's representation of your demo. Well, that's not a demo. You're being very specific. Mm -hmm. And if you're not representing everyone, right. I sort of agree with you on this, then you are you are you're absolutely point, erasing really. yeah. black trans women. Right. So I understand her passion to be seen and heard, because when you're seen and heard, then you can be acknowledged. Yeah.